Welcome to English and Grow. Today's topic is the glasses. So maybe you wear glasses yourself, maybe you don't, but let's learn this vocabulary anyway. So what about parchment? What about a magnifying glass? Do you know what a kill is? Do you know what cloister is? Let's do this. So the history of glasses dates back to approximately the 10th century when an Arab scholar uh, suggested that if you use a smoothed lens, he can actually, if you put it on a piece of writing, it works as a visual aid and it magnifies the letters. And then it was uh, put to practice by Italian monks uh, monks are people who pray to God every day and they live in monasteries like this one in the picture. The corridor you see in the picture might also be called a cloister. So these people who spend their lives writing knowledge on parchments and using kills instead of a pen or computer, as we would do today. So these people, when they started to be short-sighted or long-sighted, they actually needed some miracle to happen so they would be still able to continue with their work. So they were happy that uh, burial, a special rock, was used uh, to create a magnifying glass. And this happened thanks to glassworks in Venice, and for a long time, Venice was the center of glass and glasses production. And these glass makers, they were actually not allowed to leave the islands. They were not allowed to reveal the secret of glass making or they would be actually to death. But it didn't take long and glasses, they also showed up in Germany. And that's why... Um, the German word for glasses is Brille, because it is connected with the rock of burial, as I mentioned in some earlier slide. So the first glasses, they actually looked like this. It was two lenses, which were put, each of the lenses, each of the lens was put in a special wooden ring. The ring had a shaft, which is like little, like a little stick or little leg coming out of it and these two shafts they were connected with a rivet uh, which you can see in the middle so can you imagine you are wearing this and feeling comfortable anyway later on they became arched as you can see in this picture uh, they were not from wood the rings they were actually covered with uh, some smooth and soft piece of leather and there were some attempts of um, how to make the glasses more secure on the nose and they started with using these silk ribbons well again can you imagine this is what you wear every day but don't forget it's like the 13th or the 15th century so later on uh temples uh started to be attached to the rings and they were called temples because it took quite long for the temples to reach the spot behind the ears as where we normally wear glasses today what you can see in the picture is temples with uh, special uh, special tips and they are pear shaped um, now in this picture you don't see the rivet anymore but in between is the bridge as we see and use in modern glasses so nowadays if you have money it's uh, no worries you just visit your optician and you tell them you're short-sighted long-sighted or you need bifocal glasses and you just choose the shape that will complement your face shape so you can choose the frame which you like you can use almond shape you can use something stylish like cat eye shape or you can use a rectangular shape it's completely up to you and they will advise you or you can choose it on your own. There are many types of glasses. You can also use uh, aviator glasses, which you can see in the picture. And they are also called Maverick. 
if you don't know what uh, or who a maverick is, maverick is a kind of a rebel, a rebellious spirit. It's a person who stands uh, by himself or her uh, herself, and they don't need to be part of the crowd of the herd that much. Now, to protect your glasses, you better put them in a case. It better be a sturdy case like this one in the picture so your glasses uh, don't get broken so easily. And to make them clean, uh, nowadays we use a microfiber cloth. You can use special features. You can use anti-glare lenses and these help to reduce the reflection. And I did not know this, but they also, this anti-glare coating, it also improves the visual clarity because it uh, reduces the blue light coming from our screens. You can also opt for smudge resistant lenses. That means they do not get dirty so easily. And also you can, uh, go for anti-scratch feature now uh, to clean your glasses to polish them uh, you can use like i said microfiber cloth or you can also use something which is not very ecological you can use disposable cleaning uh, wipe and because glasses nowadays they are also a modern fashionable accessory so you can make it even more stylish with a chain if you like and to make uh, your glasses uh, more practical i think it's usually the elderly people who like to use that you can put a cord or a strap attach it to the temples of your glasses so if you don't uh, need uh, the glasses anymore you can just uh, let them rest on your chest and then put them back on so what have you learned do you know who a maverick is? Do you know that uh, glasses have temples? Do you know that uh, your case for your glasses can be sturdy? And do you know you can ask for an anti-glare coating? This is it. If you like my content, please like, comment and subscribe. And most importantly, support me on my Patreon, English and Grow. And don't forget, if you ever struggle, just breathe and keep on breathing because every breath is a new beginning.